wake up. Hello, and welcome to the Counterpoint Podcast. I am very sick, and I'm also Brendan, and I'm here with Luke. Yes. And Jonathan. How's it going? There's like a 30 second pause when I say your name. You have done this more than him, and he understood it. <laughs> what do you, I said my name immediately. You did not. <laughs> you yes. super did not do that. I said yes. Yeah, that's like it's in real life lag right there. Um, we're done. Like, let's break it down. <laughs> Playing at a good 25 FPS. Yeah, it's not good. It's, Y'all got like problems or something. I don't know. You got a shit PC. Anyway, you you're the fucks that wanted to do this episode, so start like carrying it, cause I'm sick and I don't give a shit about this right, one. So, so here's shut up. Here's what we're gonna do, people. We're gonna talk about our expectations and whatnot, and how you shouldn't have expectations, cause they're probably not gonna be good. Did did you say but, what we're talking? It's E3 is yeah. the one. Well, I mean, they'll, they'll see the title when it's they click on You don't know what yeah, I'm putting in the title. Yes, they definitely were going to put pre-3. Without the E3, pre-3. I might P-R-E put spiders live three. inside this episode, and then everyone's going to be real confused when you're talking about the expectation of spiders living inside this episode. So here's the deal. Um, there are spiders up, in this episode. There might be spiders. But I, don't, I can't prove that. But I can't prove there won't be. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Now... Um, pre E3, pre 3 episode. And first up, my belief is that it's Microsoft first. What What does that mean? That means Microsoft's literally going to be the first one to, to have an E3 conference. Isn't That's like, what, is, what does it matter? No, no, isn't, isn't EA's like this weekend? Yeah, but are you excited about anything that EA is doing? All you said was it would be first. But it's not, though, is the thing. Yeah, but like, EA is, is a joke. So, moving on. I mean, like, is there anything you wanted to talk about that EA is doing? I mean, there's probably about? some games, like, right? Like, what are they doing anymore? Uh, like, like, Dragon, the Dragon Age? No, that, that's not coming out for a while. They had to stop doing it to fucking work on Anthem, so... Uh... Yeah, it's done. I don't know. And yeah, I, am, I, I don't quit till the fight's done. <laughs> like, we've decided that even though it's a total failure... <laughs> We're continuing. Two. <laughs> that does sound like an <laughs> E3 and EA thing to do. Like, we understand no one liked it. However... It is my belief. But anyway, no, there's, there's literally nothing. I mean, they have like a, they have a Star Wars game. Remember yeah, that? yeah, Fallen Order. Yeah, and it looks. But they have a new one. Yeah, yeah looks, like every um, year for the last fucking twenty yeah, years. It looks like they just yet. took Battlefield and was like, "Yo, we." We're making a game using this Battlefield engine. It's never been done before, ever. It is It is literally in the same engine, right? Yeah, it's the exact same engine. As always. Uh, so, my whole deal, Elio, if you uh, would go so far. I wouldn't. Um, yeah, e- EA sucks. I mean, I have literally no faith in EA. Beyond, like, I I enjoyed Apex Legends. That's about it. Um, How much have you played, though? Like, have you gotten tired of it yet? I, I mean, I, I haven't gotten tired of it, but it, it's not something that I play alone. Yeah. That's that's um, my thing with, like, all of those those uh, types of games. Where yeah. it's like, they're like, oh, it's like the perfect game to play with friends. It's like, literally any game is the perfect game to play with friends. Yeah, I know. Because your friends you enjoy games. spending time with. Yes, even a single player game. If you enjoy spending time with someone Don't assume and that you're I playing enjoy a game with, time them, with my friends. That's true. But if you do, then guess what? You're gonna enjoy whatever the fuck game you play, whether it's genital jousting exactly. or any other game. That's not true, because if my friends were like, hey, let's play Genital Jousting. I'm having a hard time thinking of a game I hate. But there are games that I hate, and if they ask me to play them, the answer would be no. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is even then it would be like fun. Like it'd be fun yeah, to you, just like yeah, shit exactly. on the game the entire time with them. But yeah, you just like shit on the game them? the entire time. Yeah. It'd be fun. So, Luke, you want to play Diablo 3? 
Uh, actually, yeah, if we if we can play, um, and I can just shit on the game the whole time, yeah. You full of shit. Like I'll play it, but then I'll be like, hey, remember when uh, there was supposed to be an arena mode on this fucking game? Who gives a fuck about when there's Remember when there was supposed to be PvP in Diablo 3? Technically there is. Yeah, there's, um, there's, you can go to the cemetery and duel right Yeah, now. yeah, you can go to the dude. It's a joke. They used to literally what have the, an arena. What the fuck do you care about a PvP arena for? Wait, why are we talking about Diablo 3? I thought this was about E3. Well, so it is about Blizz E3. And the Blizzard first just thing announced E3. Diablo 4. <laughs> yeah, they, they, oh, just, the... they didn't announce it, but, but it's been... It's what they're working on. Yeah, it's extremely rumored that it's coming out... Diablo 4 uh, and Overwatch 2. Yes, isn't and it, Overwatch 2. I thought it was a mobile game. But uh, it no. seems like Overwatch might be just like a narrative game thing. No, like it's a... not. It's actually a... It's, they're still going to have the PvP aspect, of course, but it's going to be mostly PvE based. Yeah, but are, are, isn't it going to be an opportunity for them to do their story oh, shit that they couldn't do in that? this? You know, wouldn't that, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> it would. I, I, uh, I think it would be great if that happened. If that, if that happened, I would be like, wow, that's great. You yeah. know, uh, my friend was actually saying that he wished that they would make an Overwatch 2 instead of like just having DLC for characters. Because like, it's kind of limited, the types of yeah, characters Yeah, and here's the thing, have. I actually agree with your friend. Hold on, wait, wait. Like, so you're proposing scrap all of the characters and just do a new cast of characters? No, no, saying... not necessarily. But like, if you okay, but have if, a new engine, if not then, then what's have more liberties with like the characters that you have. Because, like, every character that they've added since, like, the launch of the game has been like, oh, it's like this character with a little bit of this other character. Yeah, and then we just, like, took out those elements of that character like they did with when they added, a uh, Doomfist. Right. Or, like, um, I mean, like, every fucking healer is like, oh, they heal, but then they also I deal damage. Yep. It's like, yep. What, what do you want oh, them to do? Even... Heal and fucking transform into a chicken? Yeah, actually. <laughs> I mean, that yes, that cool. would actually be dope. A oh, one that can like hex a character. What I've always wanted is uh, similar to other games where you have characters that kind of have multiple characters within them. You know, kind of thing. I think that'd be cool. Like a pet well, like class. Like Diva when she goes out of her mech, or are you saying? Yeah, like... a hunter, like a hunter Warcraft class, or what I was thinking more in the lines of is like, let's see, have like three guys. I think that would be pretty in a trench coat. Like, Yes. To get and they all an shot differently, movie. but you could kill. <laughs> you could cycle. You could kill like the guy on top, and then oh no, I lost. Oh, doesn't position. doesn't uh, uh, Dead by Daylight have that? Isn't there a, a killer now that's like four different people? I don't know. I think. But I how think about so. a character who abuses drugs? Like that's what I'm talking. About. Wouldn't that be cool? Like a Bane character. More like, like, more, more is kind of yeah. Bane. Like hardcore drugs. Moira's arm looks like she's juicing. You know who looks like they're juicing? Mission I'm sorry. Yet. Juicia? Juicia, yeah. What Did the you hear fuck about is this episode and why are we doing it? <laughs> so anyway, it's supposed yeah, to be an let's get back on track that. here. Yeah. Microsoft is basically the first actual thing that matters. Their first thing is going to happen. And I'm actually pretty damn excited about what they have to offer. Minecraft too. What well, are you actually, excited about? Actually, they they do have something Minecraft related. Minecraft Story really? Mode Season Three. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got an endorsement for being a good teammate. Nice. Too. What, so, so anyway, what the fuck are you excited about for Microsoft? Conference? So, I think Microsoft is more likely to announce a console than PlayStation, or than Sony is a play a new PlayStation. Sony has a, a thing this week, or so, I think they were supposed to have a thing before E three. I don't know when though. They did. It was kind of lame. But they they've tar they've already talked about their console. Yeah, but a little bit, not really. They haven't shown like the design and stuff. I think Microsoft is is gonna try to steal the thunder by like saying, "Hey, we have it now." I mean, probably that's kind of their mo. They're not gonna release it sooner because I no. I think this generation. Microsoft is going to care about having like the more powerful. It's going to be winter 2020. No, I disagree. When do you... It'll be April 2020. Why April? Because uh, it, it's your Sony? birth month and you just want it? 
No, for Sony. <laughs> Why? Because they've historically released April consoles. Do you think it'll just be a more powerful Xbox One? Like what for for Microsoft for Sony? No, for Microsoft. You said no. They're, they're, they're completely. So here's the deal, and this is gonna piss a lot of people off, but like. It's not like a tiny little improvement. Like if you have a newer game, it's not going to run. The PS4 on the came out consoles. in November. Yes, but look at the PS3 in Japan, look at the um The PS3 yes, came out worldwide. in November. The, no, 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 Japan. It came out on the PS3 in Motherfucker, the, I'm not going to States. Japan, so I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but they do things worldwide now, is what I'm saying. Also, PSP April Soon after its release there. in Japan, PS3 was released in North America on November 17th. Yeah, yeah soon It was released in Japan months. November 11th. Whatever, man. I'm just telling you right now. Yeah, wh whatever, man, because you're wrong, so whatever, it's not, man. It's not. <laughs> it's, I promise you. Now, you might be right on the money for the Xbox or for the Sony PlayStation 5. But, like, I would bet money against. You're essentially just saying this based on nothing now, though. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. That was one of the things before you cut me off rudely. So, the Sony uh, PlayStation 5, the amount of stuff that's out there, it would make no sense for them to delay it with what we know the console specs are going to be. It would be akin to like, hey, if we get out now, we can like say we have the most powerful shit and then like just be like, oh, or we could just wait until like it's not. So Sony's gonna come out first. I guarantee you the PlayStation 5 is gonna come out first, but Microsoft is gonna announce way earlier. That's my uh, that's my personal opinion. Okay. But anyway, back to Microsoft in general. If you, you haven't heard what they're gonna do with the with the um, uh, Game Pass this year, I think it's yeah. really interesting. And that is. They're doing uh, a PC Game Pass. Yeah. Well, uh, Origin's doing the same thing. They're releasing a console. Yeah, but Origin, pass. all their games suck. I mean, it's the Mass Effect, Jade Empire, Command & Conquer. All those games have been on sale for like $2 or something. Yeah, but Meanwhile, I, the, I games that we're gonna get, the games that we're going to get on the Microsoft Store have previously never been released on PC and are or new games as opposed to the or kind of which has uh multiple different tier levels and if you don't pay 15 dollars a month you don't get like all the good games that are new and speaking of which they don't have any good new games so i don't give a fuck <laughs> in closing fuck ea <laughs> what good new games does microsoft have um, they're announcing, and this is uh, just from Microsoft himself, they're releasing, or releasing and announcing, I guess, announcing, uh, 14 first-party titles. Uh, obviously, some of those are probably going to be like, I think there's probably going to be like a Cuphead 2 or something. I mean, but eight of those are Forza. Eight? No, I think they only have one Forza a year, and there's two different studios who work on them, similar to my Modern Warfare and stuff like that. But speaking of which, that's actually one reason we can talk about how much I hate EA. Because while other companies have like two studios working on one IP every year, uh, if you take a look at DICE, that's one studio working on three games a year, and, or sorry, two games a year, as well as uh, an engine that every single goddamn motherfucking uh, individual, of, of like, what, what would you call it? Every single one of their studios has to use the Dice's Dice's engine. Yeah, that's so restrictive. Yeah, and the the problem is, it's horrible. Like, it, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad engine, but the fact that like you have one team that made an engine for one game that's right. now working on two games, but now the engine is on every single like. Usually, people just have like one company that makes the engine and that's all they do like if you take epic for example right they literally have like half of their workers in total all they do is work on unreal engine that's all they do and that's not how it is with dice 
But anyway, um, I'm I'm pretty excited for the next generation of consoles because the CPUs are going to be so much better than what they have been. So we're going to see like new new types of games that we've never seen before. So if it's fully backwards compatible, I'll probably sell my PS4 dip. A PS5, but if not, I'll, I'll it's just going wait to be, for fucking ever. It's, it's going to be completely backwards compatible. And on what proof do I have? Because if they didn't, there would be a goddamn uproar, and they know this. That's not exactly proof. Yet, yeah, it is true. I said that's not exactly proof. I mean, it's not like proof, but it's true. Sure. I mean, sure, Sony could, like, you know, say, like, hey, our console has a new feature. It's called Smell Edition or some shit. <laughs> and, like, that's not going to happen. And the, the likelihood of Smell Edition being included in the PlayStation 5 is about the likelihood that it won't have backwards compatibility. I mean, when's the last time that they haven't had backwards compatibility? The last <laughs> generation. <laughs> yeah. But there's a reason for that. No, but there's a reason oh, for that. Oh, because PS3's architecture was garbage. Yeah, the, but the, even the, well, the Xbox One didn't. It's, it's just different. But Xbox One didn't have it initially either. Um, and again, that comes down to the architecture. If you didn't know this, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation uh, 3, they both use a power PC base uh, architecture, which is completely different than. Um, I thought the basically. 360 was like not as dissimilar to the um, Xbox One. Like I so it had the thing with the Xbox 360 is that there's three power PC cores running at like 3.2 gigahertz. So power PC cores are very different than X86 architecture. Like uh, the instruction set is completely different for one. But more importantly, um, there, I believe the X80 or the uh, the IBM power PC architecture is actually in order execution, meaning that. You have to program your shit to all be in order. Nothing can be out of order. As far as like, oh, like this happens, then this, like, no, it all needs to be in order as it's executed. The same, like, this will happen, you know. So, um, you can emulate, you know, our PC architecture, but the cell is. It's a power PC base, but it has seven risk cores that are attached to the power PC core, the single core on the cell. So the, the, the cell is like a fucking disaster, basically. And it cannot be, even to this day, it can't really be emulated. Yeah. So what do you got to say about that, John? I I got totally lost like halfway through that, so. But yeah, there's the chances. I actually thought there was no chance of any of them being emulated at any point because to me, the Jaguar architecture that's in both the Xbox and the PlayStation for the newer consoles is is not. It, it doesn't have the single core performance to really emulate a 360 or even a cell. And in fact, when the PlayStation 4 came out, there was heavy debate on whether or not the processor was even going to be as fast as the cell. Now the graphics chip, obviously things look better with the PlayStation 4. Things look better with the Xbox One compared to the 362. But the 362. When did that one come out? <laughs> that one came out uh, around the time that you ate a bunch of grounded coffee. That that doesn't sound right. I don't even know if the Xbox original was out at that time. <laughs> I think it was. Was it? Maybe because Kingdom Hearts had come out. Yeah. So anyway, um, I think Microsoft is gonna is going to seriously come out with banging games because last year even though even though last year they didn't have a lot of games that were like so here's here's uh, what we know Microsoft is coming out with right mm -hmm. Halo Infinite is probably going to be shit 
It's probably not going to be very good. I can agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Really? Gears Five. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Why do you guys think that it's going to be so Who gives a single fuck? I will actually 100% agree with that. Uh, so Halo, how much Halo have you played, Jonathan? Um, I mean, I never owned it, but I played it like every time I was at my friend's house. So, so one and two are really good. Three is pretty mm -hmm. good as well. Three has better multiplayer, but story-wise, I would say three isn't quite as good. But it's it's fine. Four. But what do you think of four? Starts to d decline sharply. Four is not four <laughs> is not good. But hold on, you're 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 cutting out reach here which is actually the best multiplayer i actually i, yeah, I haven't I actually, played reach, I in ODST. reach whenever i so played it odst um is not good it's not bad but it's definitely it's it, like the combat is very much like hey we copied modern warfare yeah so basically the point is jonathan like for the story was just ass what did you did you play five story? but i mean like i don't know well i guess i guess four wasn't quite ass it just wasn't good. i didn't five play was halo ass. for the but yes, story I did play five. really because i mean like honestly the story kind of didn't yeah, it, like no one really it naturally plays. ended it did. like it naturally really ended at one it. and then they like brought it back at what what was it three is that the one that they were just like oh and it's not fucking done yet because we need another game what are you talking about isn't that what they at did at the end of the, the cliffhanger at the end of halo three I get it. Yeah. I don't know. All I'm saying is, I thought the game was fine. Like, I, we're talking just purely about I mean, the yeah, game. Even, I even the multiplayer like, vibe isn't, shooters. like, stellar. Yeah, but shooters don't need to be at the same level, in my opinion, story-wise. And I don't think there's ever really been a I, I just said, but even the multiplayer other. wasn't stellar in five. Uh, it wasn't... It was pretty good. It wasn't... It wasn't like, reach, though. They also yeah. took out Couch Co-op, which is fucking weird. Yeah. Your wife game's been doing that recently. Do you think it's just so that you have to buy another console after buy another game? No. Right, it's, it's just less work to develop. You you want you want to know why? Exactly, it's less work to develop. So when yeah. you make a game on couch, when you make a Couch Co-op game, right, you essentially have to have two instances of the game running at the same time. So it means that. And it, you can actually go back as far as Goldeneye, and I don't know if you ever... Jonathan, did you ever play Goldeneye? I did. So, did, did you You played single player, right? Uh, no. I only played multiplayer with Goldeneye. You ever see how much uh, FPS you get from that game? No. Like, what do you mean? Like, when I played multiplayer? No, just single player. You just said I you never played play single, single player. player. Alright, alright, alright. So... In, let me just tell you, in single player, you got about 20 FPS. Oh god. Right? Like, if you go and play that game on an actual N64, you get about 20 FPS average um, with Goldeneye. Now, when you get two players, it drops down to about 16 or 15 FPS. When you get three or four, it drops down into... I think it actually hits the single digits from time to time. So, all the time, let's say if they were like programmed for something uh, specifically like, oh, we want to hit 30 FPS, and if we go any lower, we're not going to ship it. They'll just cut Couch Co-op right out. <laughs> and considering that the Xbox One at the time was by far and away the weakest of the two consoles, um, it kind of makes sense. that they would not include couch co-op i don't know i think it's kind of sad i think that a bad couch co-op is better than no couch co-op but again what they do and this is true of any developer people act like when they take things out they just take them out because and that's not necessarily true they, people take these games out or these modes out because no one plays them and sure, you can be like, well, I've played it back in night, you know, no. The average amount of people who are playing these games is like none. Hmm. Like it's 2% of the population of the total people who are playing the game. But what fucks me up even more is that if you look at the average amount of people who complete a game, like any game at all, it's at like 30 to 40% of the people who bought the game. Yeah. That's, what? Yeah, trophy yeah. stats on PlayStation make it really easy to see. Because you can literally see a percentage of like this many people who owned Same on it got Steam. this far. Yep. Same on achievements for Xbox. Basically, are they achievements just public show on you. Xbox? 
I believe you can make them public, but no. You but can like, see, I mean, does like, it have like a public wise. percentage? I think so. I didn't think it, it did. I thought it just had. I just thought. I thought Xbox just had a percentage of like what you are towards completing it. I'm not sure about that. I'm pretty sure it shows you a whole thing. It's been a while. I'd have to check. Even if you're right. But. But yeah, so you can see that people just like aren't finishing shit. Yeah, you can see like in almost every game client, whatever you want to say, is that like no one plays games that they buy. Like, and if you really think about it, it's kind of a problem because all the income that's being made on these games that people are buying, they're they're really not even playing. What like are you talking like all games? Or just multiplayer games? Because multiplayer like, games, mo I guess no, no, no. Sense. Multiplayer games, obviously, there's achievements that are hard to get, and then you don't. It's very hard to get 100. percent But no, what I'm mean, telling you, might just buy just single player games. People only like it's it's like 20 percent of the people. That's crazy. Um, in fact, Classic WoW. This is why they eventually went with the system that uh, current versions of WoW have. Classic WoW, the amount of people who actually even went to a raid, which is just like going to the end game, was like 1-2% to 2 of the population of everyone who had played that game. Weird, because I always thought that raids were like the point of the game. They're like, like the, the end game, talks about. but yeah. I mean, if you're talking to a raider, yeah, I'm sure it's the point of the game for them. Interesting. But I think, I think Microsoft might have some real surprise this year I really do and I think they 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 kind of have a, a finger on the pulse of a lot of things that they can do like technologically but like other companies can so okay I mean, they haven't really had like I mean the the PS4 like in terms of games in my opinion have like completely dominated Xbox games. yeah absolutely so to the point of finishing games Jonathan uh, one of the easiest games that has come out recently in my opinion was uh marvel's spider-man it was really fucking easy yeah, yeah it's what, a very easy what game. percentage of people would you say finished that game i would hope at least like 50 i mean yes. 60 would 53 be percent like... of people finished it i didn't finish it i tell you i just played a little bit of it and then i went <laughs> you can't well you can't act like uh it's a problem though if you can't like if you didn't finish it yourself me? Yeah, no, I can't act like it's a problem. Because why did I buy the game? I don't know. Probably to enjoy it? And then yeah, you didn't then enjoy didn't. it? Yeah. <laughs> well, but I mean, I, I might didn't not be the like same it. it just came me. across as relatively mediocre. And, it, and this is just my opinion, but I had played basically that exact same game is like six months prior. So I was really not in the mood to play that exact same game again. And what I mean by that is, there was a game that came out uh, in like 2014 that was an Xbox exclusive that like never got any publicity, and Microsoft never really used it as like a advertisement. I, you know, they didn't advertise it. I guess is what I'm saying. And it was amazing. And it's made by the people who made Spider-Man, and it's very obvious that what Insomniac did is just take the uh, <laughs> like the base game of this game that it came out like three or four years prior and remade it and called it Spider-Man. At least to me. Further experimentation. Um, but I mean, like, first off, the game's older than three or four years. That, Sunset Overdrive. But also, like 2012. I, it's obvious only to you. <laughs> They definitely no, did not I'm just serious. take the whole system. I've played both games. Me too. I've also played both games. And it's very obvious that the texture work was just a direct copy. In fact, anything that wasn't like a, a set piece was just directly ripped. Like if you look at the ventilation shafts, of you, a lot of things are just 100% complete rips. The voice actor is the same. Um, the voice wild. actors, the fucking, the voice actors are like the same six in every game. But it's specifically <laughs> the exact same voice actors. Yes, there's like um, six to choose from. And it's also the exact same character. Like it's not Peter Parker. You're literally playing as the guy. No, he's Peter Parker. 
No, he, he's, he's not. Speaking as someone who's read a lot of Spider-Man, he's Peter Parker. <laughs> no, that that's Yuri uh, Kublavich or whatever his name Blowing is. Blowing Yes. That's who that was. Maybe their inspiration for Sunset Overdrive was Spider-Man. No, I mean the and voice actor is Yuri Lowenthal. How do I change characters? Oh, I figured it out. You Thanks go in out. here and press G. It's H. Uh -oh. I don't know, maybe it is G. I'm just fucking with it. No, it's H. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> the movement, while being different, was also obviously... I would say inspired. Impossible to talk to you about anything. You know, I just like. What's wrong here? Like, what's wrong with it being inspired and possibly? No, no, no. Being... I mean, it's the same. It's the same game that I just played. Is what I'm getting at. Like, I literally just played the same game. So for me, it was just kind of like a it lot. It sounds like you enjoyed Sunset Overdrive. Oh, I did. Okay. But then, like, when I finished, I was like, ah, I finished. What's the difference between that and a sequel that's just like, yeah, maybe it didn't like expand on anything, and that's a little sad. But I mean, like. Which one of those games have I played? Where that's just a sequel that's just like a small expansion? Huh? I'm talking like a sequel that's just the same thing. Yeah, I don't do that. Halo? Yeah, no, I, I, I bought uh, I'm getting cooked alive. Halo 2. And I played a little bit of Halo 3, which was a huge, huge improvement. Uh, didn't touch ODST. I played Reach multiplayer at my friends. I didn't buy it myself. Uh, didn't play four. I got five because I got it for free and played that, beat that. But that's like super easy anyway. Um, no, I, I really try not to buy yearly releases. And if I do, I usually base them out over a couple of years. So for example, someone as a, as a football fan, as an NFL fan, I guess you could say, um, I will buy Madden every three years. About because that's how long it takes for any meaningful change to even like start to show. I mean, Madden's a poor example. Like yearly release games with a story is a different thing. Yeah, I mean, if the if they care enough to craft the story well. Um, I know I. Uh, Call of Duty wise, like. I think I've played World of War, and then World War Two. <laughs> but uh, World at War is yeah, my favorite. It was like the two that I bought. They didn't do a campaign for those last one. It was very disappointing. What was the last one? Black Ops Four. Well, I have one thing to say to that. I'm pressing F to pay respects. Right. <laughs> That's that was Advanced Warfare. I think. I know, but I'm pressing F to pay respects for the story. Okay. But it's missing in the fucking game. <laughs> but, uh... I don't know, I, I like Assassin's Creed and, well, I guess they don't do yearly anymore. But... Yeah, they've, they've gotten a lot better, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not an Assassin's Creed. I don't know. If I enjoy it, I'll play it. You know, that's how I feel. Like, if I got bored yeah, yeah, with the game, usually play it, you have to pay for it to play it unless you're admitting to torrenting. No, I'm, no I, I'd say I, I pay would for pay. games and enjoy them and finish them. I don't have yeah. a problem with finishing games. Nah, mm -hmm. definitely. If I just get like, uh, but that's I get a like a little discouraged or I get interrupted it's... or something. It's my like ADD, but I will totally just like. Nah, I mean, if somebody's play. not enjoying the game, then they don't. I don't think that that's a problem per se. But no, if my problem is I could be completely enjoying the game and then like let's say five hours in, maybe you know on like the second day I meant to play this, but then like you know something came up and like completely ruined my like vibe that I was in of playing this game, and now I'm completely uninterested in the game. <laughs> but like while I was playing it, I really liked it. But well, is that really a know. problem even though? Yes, like... it's a problem with me. Yeah, it, I don't think it's a problem, like, for the game. I think sometimes it can be if you're just continually releasing yearly releases. Right. Oh, yeah, I mean, different. Yeah, I mean, that's why, like, companies have stopped doing it. Like, that's why I, I talked about yesterday the Call of Duty companies slotting in another one and Assassin's Creed mm -hmm. going to two-year release instead of one because at, at a certain point with yearly releases, you're just, like, not putting out a good product. 
you know, you're, yeah, you're rushing too much it, and putting out it's, a vapid, I like, shallow. I, do, you think, do you think these companies think that they're coming out with a vapid, shallow product? Or do you think that they're simply releasing too many too soon and that people have video game fatigue to this specific type um, of game? I think some of them definitely realize it. Like, Assassin's Creed, I, I think they blatantly said, like, yeah, we need to slow it because these haven't been great. <laughs> Yeah, I think both. Call of Duty, it might just be like, let's just get another company in the mix. But I mean, I feel like sometimes the companies just don't care. Like, the shareholders are just like, hey, we want more money, so we need you to release another game. And then it's like, eventually, it's the people who actually, like, care about the company. That's why I like (laughs) Japanese directors, because they're just like, I'm not going to do that. Fuck. (laughs) But, see, this is why I like them, and while I simultaneously don't like because they don't give a fuck, which I like, but they also don't give a fuck, which I dislike. I get, because I understand. When, it, when it comes to like, like, oh, you know, the shareholders need this out, and they'll just be like, no, fuck you. But then it'll be like, <laughs> it'll be done uh, the yeah, but then like the game comes out and they're like, hey, why did you add this element where there's like two hours of you like picking grapes? Like, why is that in the game? And they'd just be like... I don't give a fuck. Okay. Like, sometimes some shit that's added in to these Japanese games blows my fucking mind. Like... Oh, this is this is really happening now. Speaking of... Oh, God, what's the name of that one game? Death Stranding? That's coming out. Death Stranding, yeah. It's like, hey, what's this game about? Yes. <laughs> It's yeah, about, I mean, it, it's about rift babies, strand babies. It's, it's yes, that's what it's about. It's yes. about what it needs to be. But yeah, no, like I, I just, I, I really like that. Like Kingdom Hearts gets to be its weird mess because Nomura's just like, this is my shit, fucking buy it or don't. Yeah, but at the same time, remember with Final Fantasy fifteen. I liked Final Fantasy fifteen. Yeah, but you could tell when they when they hired the other, when they signed on the other director. I don't know, I, guess, I thoroughly enjoyed Final Fantasy XV. I did too, but there was a point where you're like, oh, the like the tone, the combat, like everything all changed really quickly. And it's as soon as you get into the part where the story becomes really linear. I wouldn't say linear is a bad I mean, we've thing. Already, we've already had this discussion. Yeah, but basically you can tell when like... The other director started working on it because he was like, we're fucking finishing this. <laughs> but, yeah, I trust Nomura's choices. Even if I disagree with them, I feel like it's it's their right as the director to make them. Mm, and I, I respect Kojima that at the very least. Yoko Taro. Hmm? So you've got Kojima and Yoko Taro and uh, Ueno Miyazaki. Miyazaki, <laughs> the anime director. No, <laughs> the Dark Souls director. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, back to E3. Um, what other predictions do you have? I think Basically Microsoft will talk Microsoft. about their. I think Microsoft will talk about their consoles. Like you already said that. So on to Bethesda. It'll be shit. I also agree. <laughs> I concur. They said they're not showing Starfield or. Uh, I mean, obviously not to yet. Six. So it's, it's why the fuck do they have any conference? Uh, well, so they have Wolfenstein Youngblood, and they have okay. Doom Eternal. Which actually, I'm stoked for both of those because Doom Eternal is going to be hell on earth, and. Uh, I really like the Wolfenstein games. I think the Wolfenstein games are... They're, they're passable for what they are. I enjoy them. Yeah, but... They're just like fun, like, you know, shallow action. Fucking go nuts. It's great. Like, every game doesn't need to be fucking super serious and... Deep. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hell yeah, just give me this super stereotypical American dude just ripping into some Nazis. I'll fucking take it. 
How'd you guys yeah. like the the Doom? Like, we like the Doom. <laughs> it was really yeah, good. And I'm, I'm really ex that's why I'm really excited for Doom Eternal because like they're doing Hell on Earth and it's gonna be but fucking I mean, great. They've they've already kind of had you know demos of the game. I mean, it just comes down to like, did they really need an E3 to show off two games? Uh, they'll probably try to rescue the trash heap that's 76. But I mean, like E3 was gonna happen regardless. You know what I mean? Um, like, no, that's not true. They didn't have to pay for their own individual conference. They didn't, did they? No, they're gonna have their own individual. I'm looking at. Oh, the thing I thought right they were just showing it. They... Okay. No, well, they have uh, their yeah. Own so they'll, I'm sure they'll talk about conference. trying to rescue 76 from the throes of garbage. Um, they have Elder Scrolls Blade. Is that what it's called? It's actually not bad. I don't give um, a fuck. However, about it. however, it is definitely like 100% pay to win. You couldn't, you couldn't pay me to give a fuck about that. Um, ESO uh, Somerset. Or elsewhere, sorry, just came out as well. Elsewhere, yeah. But again, who cares? Um, I like Devolver, you. All on to Devolver Digital. It's gonna be weird, and I don't give a shit about it. I, I think I'll make one bold prediction. What's that? Hotline Miami Three, no, which sure. I'm ready for. Do not. Care. Hotline Miami is one of the best games, fucking. Well, like every E3, people are like, "Oh, did you see the Devolver Conference? It was so weird." I was like, "Yeah, but like, did they do anything that I'm gonna care about?" Like, "Yeah, it was so weird." Like, no. Did they do anything I'm going to care about? And the answer is always no. Yeah. No, no. So, um, I ended up really liking uh, Super Hot. Sure. Oh yeah. I think Super Hot's like a great game. I did, like for. A lot of fun of it. You know, I hated the story though. I don't need I, like, I don't need E3 Seriously. for their shit though. People will tell me about the yeah, game. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Um, so Devolver and again, Hit, or Hitman, Hotline Miami is to me like one of my one of my favorite games. I would put it in like one of my top twenty probably. Is good. I didn't play the second one. I played a lot of the second. One. But anyway, um, yeah, Devolver. I think their big thing is gonna be. Hotline Miami 3, because I don't know what, and some weird shit that you've never seen before, that's kind of their MMO, MMO, that's kind of their MMO. They're going to be releasing an MMO. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool, a Hotline Miami MMO. Um, so then you have Ubisoft, uh, after that. Assassin's Creed DLC for Odyssey, uh, the Division 2? DLC for Division 2? Sure. Um, whatever I think. yearly release sports fuck they do. Do you think they'll they'll ruin E3 again? Do you think they'll what? They'll ruin E3 again this year. What did they... How did they ruin E3? Did you watch their conference uh, last year? I did, but I don't remember anything. Yeah, because it's horrible. So no, I mean, I just I don't remember E3 started. at all last year. <laughs> Oh yeah, so let, let me let me uh, jog your memory a tiny bit. Uh, it started with them like outside of E3, and then like people started dancing and singing, and then they kept dancing and singing for fucking 20 minutes no. before they were like, it's just dance. And my whole thing is, and this is what pisses me off. Is the fact that, and I think that they were singing you know, and if, it's just dance. No, if you like just dance, that's that's cool. Yeah, but right? it's just like, dance. <laughs> but but and I get it. But like, here, here's my deal. No one who watches E3 gives a fuck about just dance. Literally, no one. They Ubisoft treats E3 like it's a fucking uh, stockholder conference. Bones heal. <laughs> it might be to them. Hmm? I said it might be to them. Like it's maybe not. they're uh, they're they have their own conference watching. where they talk to people. Okay, what company's next? Squeenix? After Ubisoft? Hold on, so I think Watch Dogs 3 is happening for them. That's fine, who gives a fuck? After that, you have Square Enix. Um, Avengers product project. Uh Kingdom Hearts DLC. The war goes on. Is that like officially um, Square Onyx's? Is is what? Avengers product. Yeah, Avengers project is is Squeenix. It's been in development for like a year and a half or something. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC. Uh, 
probably some a little bit of Final Fantasy VII stuff, but it's not. Wait, you think they're gonna have like Kingdom Hearts three DLC for real? Yeah, but they've already said they're doing Kingdom Hearts three DLC. What do you think they'll do? Uh, well, probably Yozora. Well, you didn't finish the fucking game. What do you care? <laughs> I thought they'd do like a new world or something. They are. What? How? Do you know what Kingdom Hearts is? What? What else? How are they gonna do DLC without another world? You know what I mean, like another franchise, like another major franchise. Well, like other than Disney? Character. No, they they have a bunch of new shit they can do. They They're can so them. definitely can if they do more them? than one DLC, one uh, of the DLCs is going to be Yozora, which is their like weird Final Fantasy. Yeah, but I don't give a fuck yeah. about that. I want like Disney IP. Let's let's not fuck around here. Uh, what else does we have? Oh. Uh, I think they'll probably announce Final Fantasy 16 and it won't come out for like. No, they are absolutely not going to announce Final Fantasy 16. I think they will. Final Fantasy 7 is still fucking in development. Yeah, but that game is a joke and everyone knows it. Why is it a joke? It's a joke because they fucking are still going through with making it, which means they have no faith in it, which means it's not actually good and they know it's not good. Like, that's that's just how I feel about episodic content. They know, like, oh, you know, if it doesn't turn out well, we'll just cancel the whole damn thing and leave everyone like. Well, stuck I think wondering what happened. the reason they stuck with it is because it's taking them 200 years to develop this, and so they can release episode one and take another five years to release episode two. But this two. is the thing: the reason why it's taking 200 years is because. They Team of like 12 people making. Well, yeah, well, the Kingdom Hearts 3 is done now, so they got those people now. Yeah, so I think they I mean, will. They will announce. Fantasy. They will announce Final Fantasy 16. I don't think that at all. And I don't think they've even started working on it. I, 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 think I super it. don't think they'll do that. That is. You don't think that's a very Square Onyx thing to do? No. Just announce also, why do you keep literally... playing with Square Onyx? It's not a fucking Whatever. gemstone, it's Enix. No, it's Square Onyx, fuck you. But... Or I'll just start calling Enix it Squaresoft, things. I'll do it. Define, that's fine, I, I like that better oh, than Square yeah. Onyx. So... That's what I knew them as originally, so... Here's the deal. What's the deal? They are known, every single console <laughs> generation, the beginning or right before the beginning of every console generation, they always do like a cinematic trailer for something that they haven't even fucking worked on yet. They always do that. So I expect that. I don't expect that. And then I think they'll talk about some dumbass mobile game. But anyway, oh, they have that. Found a piece they of have game. that. Um, oh, you're just going to skip over Nintendo out, like that? Outrider, no, they're the last. Outriders oh, thing, right? right? Hmm? Outriders? That's a Square, Ex Square Enix thing, right? It's like a sci-fi something game. I haven't heard of it. Yeah. I'll have, to, I'll have to look into it. But... Next we have PC Gamer. I, I don't even know, to be honest. I mean, yeah, like... Here's the problem. Why the fuck is a magazine having a con like I get it right because there's a lot of smaller PC devs and there's a lot of games that I would enjoy probably out of that list but I just don't feel like it's right place I mean it happens every anyway. year doesn't it yeah no it's only happened the last three maybe four years I mean I don't <laughs> see a problem with it I guess yeah like, just, yeah, like it's cool PC that they do it do shit. Right. but I feel like most of the time they don't even show the PC indies they're like look uh AMD is coming out with a new graphics card. Well, I'm pretty sure Chucklefish is going to be there. The yeah, people but... that published Stardew. It's interesting. But, um... yeah, I just feel like most of the time, you know, it's it's really just an event for either AMD or NVIDIA to, like, launch a graphics card. And that's what's going to happen. Sure. But I mean, any like, platform for like any indie web devs, like I'm all for. Like even if it's, even if it's a poor one, at least there is one. <laughs> we'll see. And, and then, then lastly is Nintendo. Nintendo. So yeah. you got Animal Crossing. Yeah, you that's got like a shoe win. Smash Bros mm -hmm. DLC. Mm-hmm. 
Do you yeah. maybe have Odyssey 2 or Breath of the Wild 2? I not I not know, I literally think... Breath of the Wild 2, but like how Majora's was Ocarina reskinned. Got you. The they next... haven't even made that uh what what is it called? The the Game I don't... Boy remake. Yeah, I don't think that that's Oh, like right, right, right. Yeah, Link Link's so Awakening. I think, I think they'll they'll take a pause on like a good so not not to oh, say Link's this Awakening game is really like good. my favorite Zelda. Yeah. I I I get where you're coming from, and I didn't mean to say good in that way, but like, it's crazy, innovative, but <laughs> basically like Breath of the Wild. Um, Odyssey 2 would be good, though. I'd fuck with I would play Odyssey 2. I mean, it's something they could probably churn out relatively quickly, considering they already have, like, they did it for, uh, I'm trying to think of the name here, for the Mario game on the Wii. Um, oh, uh, Galaxy? Yeah, yeah for Galaxy 2. Uh, you know, everybody and... sleeps on Galaxy. Galaxy's actually... I like it better than Odyssey. Yeah, you know, yeah, Pokemon is on a shield. I don't like it better than Odyssey, but Odyssey <laughs> is really fucking good. Er, and so is... Like, both of them are excellent games. I think Mario games just in general, especially, like, the ones that are like, full-fledged, are so underrated as games because people just think, like, oh, it's another mode. Hmm. I mean, they're always, like... I don't know. They're always, like, real clean. Yeah, and they also just feel right. That's one right. of the things that is just... Like, the combat is so fluid and perfect, basically. You know what? Alright. You know hot what take here? Yeah, hot take here, though. For Odyssey, when I played it, I didn't play very much of it. So it could just be I never, like, got into it. But, like, mm. it did not feel great. It didn't feel good. It didn't feel yeah, right. you gotta get into it, man. Yeah, you gotta learn the controls. It's really good. It's really well done. And the co-op's fun, too. Uh, the, you can have a second-person control Cappy. I personally didn't like the co-op, but yes, I, I I liked everything about Odyssey other than the co-op. Mm -hmm. um, so Pokemon Sun and Shield will also be there. Yeah. Do you think it's going to be a, a big change? What do you mean? So no. obviously if you look at like the graphics, like yes, it looks like it's going to be more of an open world. It looks like it's going to be like more interesting. Do you mean mechanically a change? Not even mechanically, I mean like... Story-wise, do you think they're gonna take some, you know, different with Pokemon? Probably not. Like, do you think they're gonna they go to, somewhere? They don't need different? to fucking bother. Yeah, no. I honestly. So you like, think it's basically I, just gonna be like a little, like the camera is gonna be zoomed out? I mean, Sun and Moon did some weird story shit, and I don't think people liked it. No, people didn't like it because there was like unskippable cutscenes in a mobile game. A mobile? It's not a mobile game. What? Essentially, since it's a DS. Sun and Moon is a mobile it's game. It's a handheld game, it's not a mobile game. Sun and a mobile Moon. game implies a phone game. Alright, well, sorry, I'm from a different generation. Mobile game actually You're not meant... from a different generation, you fuck. Meant mobile. Like, we actually, grew up like, together. Oh. I'm from a different generation, clearly. Because <laughs> mobile, to me, means a mobile console. No, it means mobile as phone, well, you fuck. As well as mobile, but you get what I'm saying. Though. I get what like, you're saying, but you are wrong. People don't like that. Wait, you know, fucking mobile. handheld consoles like hit their popularity when you were like entering high school. Yeah, mobile. Games. <laughs> you know, you know what is mobile? A handheld. Console. It, it is mobile, also, but it's not, like, no. if you say a mobile device, it's your phone. That's not true. A mobile device that is... That is absolutely true. I'm with Brendan on this. super so no, true. That's not I'm true at all. That's like saying, alright, yes, a cell phone is a mobile device, but a mobile device doesn't have to be a cell if phone. Two that's people, like saying, if someone is holding like a, saying, like a fucking DS and a phone, and you said, can I see your mobile device, they will hand you their phone. No, I would say cell phone. That's kind of like saying, like, if somebody says that you're, they're gonna Google something, you're like, oh, that's not searching it, that's like only Google. No, that, that literally doesn't make any sense at all. Are you kidding? That's not People at all. Google, that would like, be like if I said, alright, this is a fire truck, right? If I said fire truck, then yes, I mean a fire truck. But if I say a car, I could be referring to a truck. Not a fire, I wouldn't call a fire truck mean a car. That doesn't mean... I would, yeah, I would roast you if you ever called No, no, no but a truck, a truck a like a regular truck. I still wouldn't call that a car. Yeah, no, I would roast you if you ever called a truck a car. Really? Because people do that here all the time. No. Like, I'm getting in my car, and it's a truck. Who does that? 
I mean, it's an automobile. Yeah, now that, but that's different. Yeah. An but automobile is a more big change. And a mobile device is a DS. A DS, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, yes, but if but somebody anyway, said you're getting, mobile you're getting into semantics for say, and all I'm yeah. trying to say is people don't like their mobile games and that is the correct terminology. It's not, but go ahead. Is people don't like their mobile games to be. If you Google mobile games, you know what's going to show up. The Nintendo 3DS. It if I look up no. mobile, mobile handheld game console. Oh, you just said handheld. Mobile game console. I wonder what comes. No, because you just said console. If you, you Google hands, mobile yeah. games. All right, what's a mobile game console? I'm no, 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 right no, 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 because you've said console again, which mobile is not what you said before. Game console. Mobile game console. All right, the first thing that came up, PSP. Okay, but you've added console, which changes it. Is Pokemon Red a mobile game? Yes. That's funny. But wait, isn't it literally a mobile game? Like, isn't there a phone port of it? No, Pokemon Red. Yeah, like the original. Like, like it is port. still a mobile game because you take it with you. Is that oh, what the article is saying, though? It's not an article. I'm just just looked up. Is Pokemon Red a mobile game? But okay, but so what you've done is not Google the thing I said. All right, let's just get off this topic. This because is a big change. He knows he's wrong. No, no that's not you, true. you know you're wrong. <laughs> no, a mobile you... game is any game that you use on the go. No, well, you're mobile. No, yes. No. Like I, it used to be true. That used to be true, but with the advent of phone games, also you never hear somebody call them. I phone googled games. is Pokemon Red a mobile game, and I don't see any no. yes. I see we have ROMs of it on your phone. You so fuck. Look here. So look here. So look here. So mobile get game. bent. You know you're wrong. Mobile own. game is a game played on a feature phone, smartphone, tablet, smartwatch, PDA, mobile game console, portable media player, or graphing calculator. The earliest known game on a mobile phone calculator. was a Tetris variant of Aganuke MT2000 device from 1994. If it's a game you're taking with you, it's a fucking mobile game. I don't think I, either of us are disagreeing with that. We're saying that if you call it a mobile game, no one's what I'm getting at. Think no one wants a fucking like unskippable cutscene in the fucking mobile game. I don't know. Fire Emblem. People love that game. It has a bunch of unskippable. Is it unskippable? It is unskippable. The story is the point game. of Fire Emblem, so probably. It is. Man. And it's a handheld game. How long are we? So you're saying it's a mobile game? And it's a handheld game. So if it, it, you can hold it in your hand and you can take it with you. Yeah, it is. It is mobile, but it's not a mobile game because you play it on a DS. All right. Is there is there more we need we need to cover? So, Metroid. What do you think? Uh, they they scrapped development and are restarting. So probably not. They scrapped development over a year ago. No, no, no. They like recently scrapped it. Yeah, I know, but they, when they said, like, hey, we scrapped it, that was, like, a year ago. I still don't think they're anywhere near they're done. They're yeah, no, because no. with, with Breath of the Wild, like... Do you think we're going to get any Wii U ports? <sighs> Who cares? I do. Why? We, wait, We've got a couple ports. Wii U ports that are very important. Like what? What do you Racing. mean? Just, like, a new Wii U? Like, like what? What? No, what Wii no, U games Wii... are you waiting for? Oh. <laughs> no, hold on. This motherfucker <laughs> thinks that Wii U... Wii U. <laughs> oh god. So, yeah, no, now I know what you mean. I'm bad. Ignore but me. But that's what I'm saying. I wasn't listening I mean, to what he said. I was too focused on the fact that you want Wii U games. And I don't know what ones. So we're gonna we're gonna list off some Wii U games here. No no, list off some Wii U games that you would want. Pikmin. Yeah. Pikmin. I can get down with that. Wait, isn't Pikmin's isn't great. Pikmin just another port though? It is. Pikmin three? Yeah, it would be a port of a Wii U game. Oh, okay. I didn't know yeah. I didn't know that Wii U had an original Pikmin game. Xenoblade uh Chronicles X. Uh that game was garbage. 
I literally never played it, and I thought. So the, okay, so don't cool. fucking games that you want, not games but that you're like. I like important. the idea of this. No, that's the most important because it literally. I never got to play it because it was on the Wii U. Okay, well, Jonathan just told you it's hot trash. It's I, I not. Disagree. It's Let's not see. that bad. The, it's just not that good. Continue. What else do you got? Ninety-five percent like this. What baby. else do you it's have? Got a ninety-five fucking percent rating. What other games Fuck do you want from the Wii U? <laughs> it's not as good as Chronicles. What other games do you want from the Wii U? From the Wii U? I mean, there's so many. Are there? Because you've Star listed Fox two. Zero. Star Fox Zero. Wasn't that bad? Yeah, it was. But I still want to play it. I don't give a fuck. Did Zombie U ever come out on a Switch? Uh, it came out on Xbox, I think. <laughs> It can't come out on Switch because the whole point is that you need the. No, uh, no, there, are, there are versions yeah. of it that don't do that. It came out <laughs> yeah. on other shit. What? Yeah. Well, then, what's the point of it? It's weird. So yeah, that one's already on other shit. You can already play so, that one. What kind of upsets me though is. The no, no, I want to hear fucking Wii U games, Mister Wii. Did. Yeah, you listed like three, and all of them were bad. Yeah. So my whole thing is. You want to play Wii bad games? games? Yeah, I do. You can't even finish good games. Why do you want to play bad ones? <laughs> I finish bad games. <laughs> Fuck you. It's like people who enjoy bad movies. Those people Actually, are wrong and broken inside. No, I not. enjoy bad oh, movies. Oh, sorry. They're if great. all you did was watch bad movies, if you started a movie and yeah, it was yeah. good and you're like, oh, I can't finish this, you'd be weird and broken <laughs> inside. Yeah, I can agree with that, but that's what I said. That's what you're doing with games. <laughs> he has a point. That's not what I'm doing. There's plenty of games that I'm like, oh, it's What great. good games have you finished recently? Uh, I've gotten pretty far in Shadow No, of no, War. sorry. I said finished. <laughs> Perhaps <laughs> you missed that word. Finished. Completed. Are done with. There were some games recently. Name I... one. <laughs> Let me open up Steam. How do I see my recently played? Because once I beat it, it's like, it's out of here. I guess I technically beat it surviving Mars. That's... Uh, sure... <laughs> Are there any others? Uh, Black and White 2, although I beat that, that one. That game's a hundred years old. Hey, you did that recently? Again, yeah. Yeah, okay, but that's one you've already played. I actually think Pokemon Peak did that, like... Not what? that that was the best game, That's but not like, what he's talking that about. since then it's that been... Definitely not what I'm he's, talking. Talking, he's not talking about Pokemon, he's talking about the, the god thing. I like a lot of simulators, you know? Okay, I'm still not hearing games you've finished recently. The, the best games are the kinds you can't <laughs> So, no, you haven't finished any good games recently. No, I actually have, but I don't, I don't recall which ones they were. <laughs> Didn't you just agree with him that that makes you sad and broken inside? No. <laughs> not anymore. No. Not now that he's faced with the reality. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> no, there there were a couple games that I was a fuck. I just beat it. Like I remember I was talking. Fucking beat this. I don't know how to do it. I'm hearing none. But... Oh, hearing none. Apparently. Oh, I just recently beat Saints Row uh, 4. I was talking to you about that, like, you were two not. weeks ago. Yes, I was. We did not have a conversation about this. But anyway, I just recently actually beat Saints Row 4. Sure, I'll allow that one, I guess. I don't know if it's really a good game, but I enjoyed it. Saints Row 4 is really a good game, what the fuck are you talking about? It's hilarious. And it did something, like, even now I really haven't seen the other games do. What's that? Even though... Just be like a fucking wacky ass game like how it do. And also the fact that like you're living in the Matrix and you get like a, it takes like a traditional game that is like let's say like GTA like I guess and then it just becomes like this goofy fucking crazy you know living in the Matrix type of shit. So one. You finished one game. Yeah, one. And then there was another one. But again, do you really want me to like research this right now? Uh, what, what else are you gonna do, right? Now? I'm gonna talk about Nintendo. 
what else is there to say about Nintendo? Quite a lot. They make bad choices, and they're bad at naming things. I can agree with the naming things, mostly. And they don't understand how multiplayer works. That's that's wrong. They're the best at multiplayer. They're, they're, they're so sincerely not. They're the best. Did you hear about Mario Maker 2's multiplayer? I have, and I'm so excited for it. I'm actually no, just no, no. excited did for you, it. Did you hear what they're doing? Yeah, there's some well, kind of bullshit uh, where you can't play with friends. Yeah, you, but... when you want to play multiplayer online levels, you can only match with random people. You can't play with your friends. What the fuck? Why would they ruin Because it's thing. Nintendo! They don't <laughs> understand how multiplayer works. But at the same time, like, how many... How many friends do you have that, like, play the same game... As you, there, there. I, I have, I have roommates Maker? six feet across the hall from like, me that Smash have a Switch. Is really, the only one. No, no, no. Like the same game. Yeah, they're across the hall, and they have a Switch, and we have the same fucking games. Two friends. Okay, when's the last time you saw them online playing a game? They, they use their Switch all the fucking time. I'm the one that doesn't yeah, like, use saw it. them online. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's how it always fucking seems. Is they'll. Uh, I'm not interested, and then like I'll be. Interested but it's the fact in... that they made it only. Like if it was, you could do both. Then like it's the, whatever. The way that the online service works right now <laughs> is not conducive of like, yeah, I'm gonna like, you know, join a community. Like, <laughs> I get what Brendan's saying. He's absolutely correct. Like at no point am I like, hell yeah, man, I'm gonna join up with you. Like if I want to play Super Smash Brothers, I gotta like meet someone in IRL. You know. But I mean, that's Mar also just because Nintendo's infrastructure is shit. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a shame, because they really do have great games. They're just a weird well, company. Like, they don't understand multiplayer. I don't even think they tried to. Well, there was for a while. Um, they actually were... If if memory serves correct, they were actually talking with Steam to try to like get Steam on the Nintendo uh, console for a long time, and for whatever reason they couldn't come to an agreement. Probably because Steam wanted like a cut, a fucking thirty percent cut. But I think that's like what Nintendo needs is just to like cop someone else's like mobile infrastructure for their consoles. I don't know. If I were like the Nintendo CEO, that's probably what I would do. Then I mean, you wouldn't have to worry about it. I think their entire uh, system, like let's say, all right, you buy a game on their their marketplace, right? Like it's it's on your Switch. It doesn't cross over onto your account, or did they change it for this? No, it, oh, I, I think it's still on your Switch. Yeah, it's for Switch. Like, that's not cool. <laughs> like, if your Switch gets stolen, you're just fucked. Like, just like with the 3DS. Yeah. Like, if you buy something on it. Oh, you, you might be able to get the games, but you definitely lose your saves. I thought they let you if you buy the. Which is another bullshit thing. Oh, there's card saves in the online now, yeah. Yeah. But the fact that it's behind a paywall is pretty shitty. And it's so interesting because, like, I specifically remember absolutely hating Microsoft during, like, the 360 days because they had the whole bullshit where, like, oh, you want to use Netflix on your 360? Yeah, you have to have Black. Like... Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I used to be the absolute biggest, like, Microsoft hater. I don't know. I feel like they've really turned their shit around, to be honest. But... It's definitely, um... It's definitely different now compared to what it was. I think that's everybody, right? No. No, not at all. Who else is there left? Oh, I thought you mean like everyone had changed, and I was like, no. Yeah, no, no, no I'm sorry. Nintendo's exactly the same. What the fuck are you talking? Mm. Yeah, no. But no, um, the one thing I want from Nintendo is I want to see some goddamn GameCube and fucking Wii ports. They already made them. They literally already fucking made the goddamn ports. Where are they? 
What do you think about that, Jonathan? Hmm? I mean, I want to see them too, but what do you mean they already made them? They already made them. How did, how do you know this? Because they're available in China. Oh, yeah, they need to bring a lot over. Like, they still haven't even brought over uh, Earthbound, the, the second. The three, yeah, Earthbound 3 or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, like, an awesome game. But like, There's a fan translation that's, like, uh, so true to the original. And then the creator of it was like, I will let them have this for free. Yeah, but you to... know, the thing about Nintendo, too, is that, you know, if you try to, like, help them out, they'll just, like, slap you with the lawsuit. What? Yeah. Are they? I always thought that you they didn't were better. You hear about, that. like, oh, yeah, like, this guy was making, like, a Pokemon, uh, like, fan game with, like, his own Pokemon, but... Yeah. Because it had Pokemon in the name, he got sued. I mean, I this did, stuff happens all the I time. I did hear about that. But this is, this is different. This is just like a translation. Yeah, yeah I'm still pretty there, sure still their some, property. Yeah, some fan translations have gotten shut down. Well, I mean, it's like Nintendo does not compute. <laughs> like, I, I don't understand. And their whole, I mean, their, their YouTube policies for the longest time were the absolute most draconian yeah. policies imaginable <laughs> like if we were sitting here and we were playing like i don't know any nintendo game a year ago and you were to upload it it would either get flagged um automatically there'd be advertisements all over it like it's it's rough mm. yeah i think that's about uh everything yeah, that'll do it. Thanks for listening to this garbage E3 episode. Yeah, for, I just, I carried it. There you go. Where yeah. Next week we will again be talking about E3, and probably the week after they'll bring up more E3 shit. Hey, it's a it's a big uh It's really not. Convention. Who actually gives a fuck about E3 anymore? It's It's gotten really shitty. I think we can all agree on that. But yeah, see, like, see, see you next time where we, it's going to be in the middle of E3. It's just going to be E3. Wait, 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 wait. Can you, can you remember the last time E3 was really good? Breath of the Wild, I would say. But do you think last year? Was, like the reveal? Or was that two years ago? I would I say Microsoft had a ago. pretty good E3 last year, but I mean, everyone here's else. The, here's the thing. You can't think of an entire E3 or at least I don't. Like you just go, oh, it was a good year for whatever company. No, that's not true. There's been years where I was legit. Everything is banging right now. Yeah, and like that's optimal, but like you, I don't know. I was like, disappointed. But even when... then, you don't need everything to be banging. Good E3. You yeah. just need like two out of the big three to like have a really strong showing, and you're like, fuck yeah, dude, I'm ready for this shit. Yeah. But I don't know, man. It's been like, it's been rough. Like we're like, ah, dude. You know who started it? I think it was Microsoft who started it, and then Ubisoft kind of caught on and just like copped it. But it was the whole like bullshit where you uh, you have to like sit through people like pretending to be like playing a game in a group. Like they're they're pretending to play a game. What are you on about? Was this just like something that happened at an E3? It started a couple of years ago, but it seems like as part of their advertisement, they actually just get a bunch of voice actors together and they're like, get to the LZ. Yeah, okay. Anthem did it last year. Anthem did it last year, and the Division year before that. It. Yeah, Division did it. And then I, I swear there was a Microsoft game that it was like a Gears of War, I think. Probably. And that like started it, and it was just it's it's the worst. I fucking hate it. I can't stand it. Like, why? You don't need like to pretend to have like a group interaction. Like, we get it. This is what the game's about. I don't know. Just out of touch, I guess. But I think the best E three. The best E3s are when the consoles are like about to go live because 
everyone comes out like full on swinging with the best content that they have because that's what matters is getting people to be like to believe in their console and therefore believe in like all these different games and so breath of the wild i mean that was originally announced when like 10 years ago no not that long ago but like nine years ago are you talking about like when they originally started working on it no when they first announced it uh, I... yeah no they announced it like the year before they released yeah. it at the... no they announced it for the wii u no no skyward no, announced... sword was wii u <laughs> yeah no, no, Skyward no, Sword was Wii. Not. There Breath was of the Wild Wii. is also came out on the Wii U. I'm Breath of the Breath of the Wild is technically the Wii U release, so they are planning on doing a Switch Zelda game. Like that is the plan. I'm yeah. pretty sure. I mean, Breath of the Wild was a Switch game. No, it's a Wii U game that they ported to the Switch. At the same technically, time. technically, but here's the thing: they took so long on Breath of the Wild because they did like you know, well, here, they worked on it for what four years, I think, and then they like completely scratched everything and they're like what if we made it open world and then they worked on it for like another yeah, five so, years um, but they never they never said that they were going to release it for Breath the, of the wii. wild was first at an e3 at 2014 so roughly nine years ago <laughs> closer to nine than like last year or whatever the fuck you were saying i didn't say last year i said the year before <laughs> the one so it'd be three years yeah so roughly nine years ago what the fuck? um <laughs> but no 2014 e3 i mean that that's five years ago yeah congratulations you can do math that's closer than one year away nobody uh, said one year except you <laughs> yeah no i said three and you said fucking nine <laughs> we'll meet in the middle at five <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, I'm ending this recording <laughs> goodbye <laughs>